Here's a quick step-by-step -step tutorial to show you how to feed an animal or feed a monster. If you want students to place food or some other item inside the mouth of a creature, and you want the food to sort of disappear behind the creature's mouth or go into the creature's mouth, there's a set of steps you have to follow to make that happen. I need to make the creature's head a drop zone so that I can drag the cookie into its mouth. Before I do that, I want to duplicate the creature's head. The layer on the bottom will be the drop zone, and the layer up above will actually be a draggable layer. Let me click on the creature's head to duplicate it. Go to the right-hand menu and click Duplicate, and it will make two heads of the same size. I'm going to move the second head, the one on top, over to the right just a little bit and click on the one on the bottom. That's my drop zone. So I'm going to click on drop zone and give it a flag. Now I can link the cookie to the monster's head by sliding the finger up to the flag. Now my draggable item is correctly linked to my monster's head. In this scenario, I don't want the ice cream or the pickle to be connected, so I just leave them as is. Next, I'm going to make sure that both the creature heads are right on top of one another, so students can't see that there are actually two layers. To select both heads, I hold down the shift button and click on each of the heads. I know they're both selected because there's a blue box around them. On the right-hand menu, I can now use Align to make sure that they are aligned along the top and the side. I click on Top Alignment and Left Alignment. And now it looks like there's only one head, even though I know there are two layers. The top layer, the one that I've selected, is the one that I'm going to make draggable. You see now, if you look very carefully, I can see there are two layers because I have a flag and a pointer finger on top of one another. Let's preview what it looks like when I drag the cookie into the mouth. Some people might prefer an animal with a closed mouth. That's okay too. We can make the cookie disappear behind the mouth to make it look like the monster ate it, instead of simply floating in front. Remember that if you want the cookie to go right into the middle of the drop zone and not show, you can also click Snap to Center. The cookie disappears behind the top layer to make it look like the monster ate it.